Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. I hope you're all doing well. Today's pick a card reading is about their thoughts of you today. There are three piles for you to choose from. Pile number one has the sodalite crystal. Pile number two has the aventurine crystal. And pile number three has the red jasper crystal. So just choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to. And after you're done choosing, you can skip ahead to your reading using the timestamps down below in the description box. But before we get started, please take a quick moment to hit like and also to subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future. And if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, I'll leave the link down below in the description box as well. Without further ado, I'll see you on your reading. Hello, my beautiful pal number one. Welcome to everyone who chose the Soda Light Crystal. So let's see what are your person's thoughts of you today. So you were drawn to the card of Three of Swords. And this card is showing that your person is currently feeling really sad, really upset and heartbroken. So if you're in a no contact situation, if you are in an argument currently or things haven't been really okay between you two and you're wondering what are their thoughts of you they are feeling really heartbroken or they feel like you've hurt them in some way or the current situation is hurting them and it's making them feel very very low emotionally and mentally i'm sensing as well so there's a, a very heavy like energy okay it's uh it's definitely not a positive card this is showing that they're feeling under the weather they're feeling really really upset um and it could be even more so like heartbroken because of a separation because of a breakup maybe because of the current situation and being far from you missing you this could represent as well so it's like their heart is shattered shattered sorry or their heart is not happy with how things are um or what happened between the two of you okay let's see what your tarot cards are now pal number one what are their thoughts of pile number one? We have Knight of Swords. What are their thoughts? Okay. Right. So we have the Hangman. We have six of pentacles and we have justice and nine of swords right i did get a bit of that feeling with the three of swords that they feel like you did something to hurt them and i see that here with justice card they are looking forward to bringing balance back in the connection or even more so they are thinking of like taking back what's theirs uh, making things fair adjusting things or taking could be even revenge or could be like doing something in which they is going to make them feel like they've been um receiving that fair treatment or they've been receiving what's theirs right they've received justice like justice was made to them and it looks like they are quite determined to 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 take their justice back or to do something that's going to make them feel like things are even out between the two of you it looks like they feel very hurt because of something you did they have a lot of sleepless nights they seem to not even be able to rest properly they always especially at night uh have all these thoughts all this heartbreak coming in very strongly and it makes them feel very very upset crying even more could be and also um they are unable to rest i'm sending a lot of overthinking a lot of anxiety a lot of stress um it looks like they are sensing a lot of negative emotions and turmoil and it looks like this person really wants uh balance really they really want things to even out between the two of you they want maybe you to show a fair treatment to them for you to be able to maybe offer them as much as they think that they offered you um so i'm sensing that they think that they've offered you more right they've 
gave to you like a lot and they didn't receive in return so for some of you it might resonate as revenge but i feel like for the majority of you pile number one is going to be like wanting things to be fair fair play uh you to even out like their treatment things to feel equal between the two of you we have the six of pentacles which is a representative of uh mutuality we have justice so it's really fair and clear how this person wants justice to be made they want things to feel uh like are fair towards them we have the scales in both cards so they want things to balance out they look for stability they look for that uh, strong foundation for something solid um and they seem to really be like willing to do anything that it takes to achieve that it looks like they're very determined as i said very like um like determined and has a strong willpower like nothing is stopping them uh, here with the knight of swords it looks like they feel a bit impulsive like or they have the tendency to be a bit impulsive to throw themselves with head first it, it seems like even though they're overthinking a lot they are not making um like a clear plan on how to communicate like they want to just be super direct that's how they want to communicate with you they want to be super direct they want to tell you everything they think everything they feel like to speak up their mind without any filters without carrying the possibility or the risk that they could come across as harsh or as impulsive um or stubborn i'm also sensing stubborn energies so they really are frustrated i'm sensing and here with the hangman they are looking to like they're so willing to get things even out they're even taking any possibilities or any ways of looking at this uh, situation so it looks like they can even can turn the situation upside down they try even to think of a solution or of, of a way outside of the box like out of their comfort zone could be uh out of outside of their normal way of thinking or values or how they live and think so it looks like they are really willing to to achieve this justice no matter how um and they're just very determined to do so okay let's see some oracles now okay we have no other compares to you so they are very fixated on you they truly believe that no one else can compare to to you you're unique to them we have i'm working on myself so i can come back please wait for me maybe this is their way of um working with themselves maybe to find here with the um, hangman like to find a way of looking at things differently as i say like turning even their head upside down metaphorically speaking in, a, in order to see things from a new perspective maybe maybe they're going to be able to see justice and bring balance back but it looks like they're hurt and they want to communicate that we have please be patient because i'm afraid of commitments um so i'm sensing that you know this person feels like now because they've been so hurt they are scared to commit they're scared to like offer that stability that they were wishing for like i'm sensing they wanted and they offer that commitment so uh now they are scared to do that again because they are afraid they might be hurt once again we have why do i deserve someone like you so it looks like this person has like some like difficulties into or mm, negative thoughts limiting beliefs when it comes to their self-esteem they really feel like you're unique they think that you're unique pal number one uh like no one compares to you like you're a really great person but at the same time i feel like they want something more from you we have i wish i could be fully honest with you here with the nine of swords it's like this person truly doesn't show their feelings their real feelings they they hide their suffering they hide their pain their anxiety their stress they don't want people to know how they feel we have drama so they feel like they're caught up in a lot of drama currently they feel like this whole situation 
or you bring drama into their life like they they truly have feelings for you real feelings that's for sure and that's why they even feel so hurt because it's like the more you care about someone the more hurt you're gonna feel so they sense that you brought drama into their life with this three of swords you hurt them you made them feel these negative feelings but at the same time they do realize that it might be something that stems from them uh and they might be trying to work onto that the timing just wasn't right for us so they think that maybe that wasn't the right time like when your connection happened i want to tell you how i feel yes they want to be direct they want to be honest they want to tell you how they truly feel but they still like they wish they could be fully honest with you they want to tell you how they feel but they find it hard maybe it doesn't come natural to them to be open like emotionally to th speak about their thoughts you don't know how hard it was to let you go so because of the hurt it might be that this person proceeded with the breakup or uh by just disappearing you know for a while like pulling back and trying to uh, like even process all these emotions all these negative emotions on their own uh for them it was really hard to take this decision to make this step to pull back and they do care about you a lot that's for sure and they want things to like come back to balance to come back to normal they want something solid and it looks like right now it's definitely not happening and also inside of their heart and their mind it looks like there's a lot of um like drama there's a lot of like not even uh, like stability or patience it looks like they're very impatient here but it's like a lot of mixed feelings a lot of mixed thoughts like it looks like they're being pulled into different directions that's why i even keep like stumbling on my words because i'm getting this energy of like being pulled in two directions like i can sense the um, the interest that they have for you like the desire that they have to be with you or like how much they want to be with you and they they think that you're important but at the same time they have a lot going on in their head and emotionally as well all right so this is everything that i have for you my dear panel number one i really hope you enjoyed your reading and you found value in it if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye Hello my beautiful pal number two, welcome to your reading to everyone who chose the adventuring crystal. So let's see what are your person's thoughts of you today. So you were drawn to the card temperance and this is a card of showing patience, a lot of patience and calmness. The, your person is feeling really grounded and calm and collected. They seem to be feeling very still, they are very patient. So. Uh, they're just waiting patiently maybe for something to change or for you to contact them to reach out to them or for something to change as i said um, it looks like they are just focusing on being in tune with themselves in connection with their feelings and emotions it looks like they're very stable and balanced out emotionally they're not overwhelmed they're not unhappy like or even if they were unhappy they are not letting that overwhelm them they're not letting that dictate the course of their life it looks like they're very stable very grounded and they have like they find a lot of security within themselves emotionally they it, it looks like they can be like very in tune with themselves and their emotions and they understand very well how their emotions work and their feelings and it looks like it's a person with a lot of emotional intelligence or like very developed emotionally spiritually um yeah oh, like very calm person okay like very patient okay let's see your tarot cards now panel number two what are their thoughts of you today so we have knight of wands we have 
Justice and the Hangman, which we also had in pile number one. Interesting. We have Page of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. Right. So, pile number two. It looks like your person is very attracted to you. They find you very attractive, very good looking. Uh, they're very drawn to you. I, I sense a strong passion in here with the Knight of Wands. Um, they they find you irresistible. There's a strong desire that they have for you. And here with the Page of Cups, it looks like this person really is thinking of like maybe pursuing you. Um, they don't hurry. Like they're not in a hurry. They're not trying to rush anything. They're not trying to rush this process. It looks like this person is in for the long term and is willing to commit. They want something stable here with the Eight of Pentacles. They're willing to put in the work. They're willing to like have something that require. They know, like I'm sensing, they know the that a relationship, a stable, healthy relationship, requires some work, some effort, some investment, energetically, emotionally, and they are willing to do so. Okay, with the Page of Cups, it looks like they want to pursue you. They want to be like slowly but surely. It, it looks like a beginning of a journey. So here with the attraction, also the Knight of Wands re represents like someone coming towards you. So this person is willing to come towards you, uh, expressing their feelings, their attraction, their passion through being more flirty, being like entertaining to make you laugh, make you smile, uh, show that you know, child and young spirit side of them uh, with a page of cups. It looks like this person is very chill, very uh, like relaxed and not stressed at all. Like they really are enjoying, you know, the moment that they're into. They're enjoying the time of their life, like that they find themselves into. They really enjoy like everything about this process. They take things step by step. I'm hearing very strongly and it looks like they are just willing to not rush anything to not force anything uh they are into it for the long term so even though it might require a lot and also they think that you are hard to get i'm also hearing that you're hard to get pal number two and that it takes some effort from their part to pursue you to get your attention but they're willing to to put in the investment the work like they are not bothered by that at any means. They find it even exciting. They they find you attractive. As I said, they are so into you and they're willing to like slowly, slowly but surely like pursue you, come towards you, be flirty, be more. Uh, and also I'm saying the way they want to pursue you is with their more, as I say, younger spirit with more fun, like having more fun being uh, flirty but also funny and entertaining and joking around being goofy like they are not scared of looking a certain way or, or in order to be like goofy and maybe even like make fun of themselves even like they are not scared of that like they really just want to have a great time they're very relaxed and open and it looks like a person that is very sure of themselves and very secure within themselves and they just want to have fun with the process and at the same time they seem to be very invested into this connection into pursuing you into wanting to make this work okay um they think that they've made some pro progress here with all these pentacles they think that they've made some progress but at the same time they think that you're hard to get and here with the hangman it looks like this person feels or like thinks that they have to or like they, they just have to be creative or they want to be creative and pursue you in like more romantic here ways but also creative ways like outside of the box do something more unique do something more special that's outside of the norm uh it's not boring it's not like uh the same as everyone does is not cliche like something that is really like unique and special and this is how they want to like get closer to you and pursue you and come towards you and with the justice card it looks like this person really feels like especially with the temperance i'm getting like a very very stable grounded uh energy about this person they are feeling very confident within themselves and 
justice normally is a car representing like wanting something fair or wanting balance back into your life because we have the scale so it looks like what this person wants from this connection is to have a partner that gives as much as they're offering um, they're willing to be committed they're willing to invest into the connection to be 100 percent in but they wish for you to offer the same thing okay let's see some oracle cards what are their thoughts of you today this person hates the distance it says i hate this distance between us it doesn't feel good they want to come closer to you and they want to get closer and closer to you okay karmic connection moving from patterns from the patterns okay so they think that you know they are willing to as i said they're very in tune with their intuition with their feelings and they are looking forward to moving from certain patterns uh or wounds you know from from childhood uh patterns that they've experienced maybe previously with like toxic relationships yeah we have i think that you are better off without me so yeah we have also i was selfish and immature please forgive me maybe this person like pal number two like we had a lot of uh, sorry i'm getting a lot of messages this person like it looks that they have a lot of young energies in them like i sense a lot of young energies also very passionate fiery energies so maybe they were really selfish or they think that they were really selfish with you in some way and immature and they wish for your forgiveness they think that you know sometimes like their darkest thoughts are that you're better off without them but they're not willing to give up on you and it looks like they want to pursue you and maybe this is why i was getting this energy that you're hard to get because they want they're willing to put in the work for your forgiveness to get your apology here this could be like they coming f towards you with an apology like trying to be more lighthearted, trying to be more like flirty and getting closer to you slowly slowly finding ways on how to get your forgiveness get balance back maybe they think that they were unjustful is that even a word <laughs> like they were not fair to you and this justice is like their decision to make things right for you okay this could be as well and with the temperance because they saw so much patience they are really patient and they are not forcing you into apology uh, getting their apology into accepting them back like they really take their time and they know this is going to be a long lasting process and uh, uh work you know like it will imply work and that's why like they're not hurrying anything they're not pressuring anything and they've got a lot of patience uh with this whole process we've got drama we've got drama in pal number one there's so many cars that keep jumping the same so they think that maybe yeah between you two there was a lot of drama they're asking is it over they don't want uh it to be over but they're asking like is it over do i still got a chance with pal number two they are thinking that they've created some drama you know between the two of you with this selfish and immature thing that they did my life is a mess right now so even though it looks like they've got like really calm all positive vibes they actually feel like a mess but they don't want to like bring that energy into making everything worse they really really want to get back to you they really want to pursue you like they they definitely don't want to ruin even like the last chance that they would have with you i knew exactly what i was doing so they are confident that something that they did were was was good i am becoming a better person maybe it's uh, linked to this card uh it says yeah like they are definitely trying to become a better person they are finding ways on how to like get your forgiveness to be a better person for you i will wait for a sign from you so pal number two this person is really patient and is waiting patiently for a sign from you that is going to show that you want them back they're just going to be there kind of like pursuing you kind of like you know 
trying to bring a smile on your face, being the person that you can count on, working slowly but surely here into accepting their apology and bringing balance back into the connection. Alright, so this is everything that I have for you, my dear Palambo 2. I really hope you enjoyed today's reading and you found some value in it. If you did, don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Hello, my beautiful pan number three. Welcome to your reading to everyone who chose the red jasper crystal. So let's see what are your person's thoughts of you today. So the card that you were drawn to, pan number three, is the devil card. And this is a card that shows that this person is even jealous, I would say so. This is a card of jealousy or trying to be too controlling over someone. So they are trying to control you. Maybe they are thinking about becoming more controlling, becoming like maybe there is something that they feel like they're, they can't trust uh, or they get mixed signals. It looks like this person has this tendency to become over controlling. Is their way of feeling safe? Is their way of feeling secure? It, this card, the devil, it implies some toxicity, uh, some toxic energy. So this is like a toxic trait that they have, like trying to become overly controlling or uh, the, because of their jealousy or it's just like them trying to um, feel secure, but it's not through obviously a healthy way, but this is what the devil implies. Like this person feels maybe very jealous. Maybe they feel like or they think that you're spending time, more time with someone else and they think that you might be interested in them or they think that you are just um, maybe, you know, even showing yourself out too much. They could think that you put yourself into the center of attention and they want to kind of keep track of where you're going, like who you're talking to, like what your friends maybe are or like what your group of people or like uh, even maybe thinking about controlling you know your phone and your social media if you're in separation with this person then they are constantly checking your social media like they are jealous they are kind of like frustrated and want to be in control this is what the devil is about okay let's see some more tarot cards for you part number three and see what we have Okay, so we've got the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, we have the Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Okay, we've got three more cards. I wanted to pull out five, but I'm going to keep them since there should be a message in here, even though we got more cards. Let me just try to arrange them so it's going to fit. Okay. So we've got also so eight of pentacles, six of wands, queen of wands, three of pentacles, page of pentacles, four of cups and ten of cups. Right. It definitely looks like this person is super interested in you. Like with the queen of wands, the it makes all sense with the devil now why they think that you're in the center of attention or they get jealous because the queen of wands is an energy of a very charismatic person uh so they see you as very charismatic very attractive this is a card of like even physical attraction but even your energy your overall energy is like so magnetic and everyone seems to be drawn to you they they think that you are someone who can have anyone that, that you want like you are super confident within yourself like you carry yourself out with so much grace with so much elegance you're so good looking and in attractive and they feel this strong passion towards you and they want you all for themselves right and they think that you are just this amazing god or goddess whatever and it's like you are putting yourself out there and they they seem to have this tendency to be jealous and wanting to be uh holding you just for themselves um it might be definitely here that you are in separation because here with the four of cups or at least not in a connection because it looks like here with the four of cups that this person thinks that you are 
ne- uh, like neglecting them or you're like on purpose just um not answering maybe their calls their messages or you don't respond to their signals or they're trying to reach you out and it looks like you're just avoiding them on purpose and this is what they think that you're just busy doing something else you're busy with with other people you're busy uh, sorry busy doing other things and that just boils their blood you know it, it makes them so jealous and they want to be part of your life they want to be with you they want to have you for themselves and that is why they are so jealous in feel this need to control because they think that you're pushing them away and they are you are so so good look again and they feel this strong desire to be with you they're willing to put in as much work as possible to be with you here also with the page of pentacles this person really thinks that you know they want to have a stable relationship with you they want you all for themselves and here with the ten of cups they're even dreaming of building a life with you of having you like for an entire life they want to be uh with you and that would make them the happiest person okay the ten of cups is a card of fulfillment a card of feeling like you've got everything that you wanted like feeling completely fulfilled and there there's nothing missing so this is how they they want their life to look like to be with you and that would make them so happy that would be their dream come true their fulfillment okay and it does look that this person is like determined to like not give up on you they are gonna keep reaching out to you they're gonna keep contacting you it looks like they really are willing to come with an offer of stable committed relationship uh they're willing to come towards you and maybe ask you out or propose to you depending on your situation uh ask you to move in with them they want something stable and this is usually representing like a solid yeah like a, a united family a building a life moving in together something stable and that would fulfill them and here with the page of pentacles they think about coming towards you and either like asking you out like expressing that the this intention of wanting something serious with you here with the three of pentacles they they think that you're quite different also this is a card of like teamwork it, it just comes to my mind and i feel the need to say that they might think that maybe uh you've got something to do with like your co-workers or your work could be your center of attention and they also like might be picturing certain things like imagining certain things uh regarding your co-workers like you're making a great team and you're getting so well like getting along so well and that would make them jealous but yeah they also think that you're quite different but they find that um exciting they're really drawn to you um and they're willing to put in uh, a lot of work like as much as it takes you know they're just here to to get you like to get your attention they're not going to give up any uh anytime soon this is a card of being invested 100 percent of hard work of being consistent with something um and with the six of ones i do see that they're like willing to kind of match your energy to make you see them in a way that matches your energy like to see them as a person that's above you know maybe of what you you would think of them like they really want to look confident to you they want to look like uh they're just matching your energy okay i also sense a lot of passion here with all these ones again confirmation of that let's see some oracles no other compares to you so they definitely feel like um you're unique and special and nobody else can compare to you especially since they see you as the queen of wands i'm trying to be someone you can trust Ooh, so they're trying to work on building that trust back they're will, uh, working towards like you trusting them and you giving them a chance all I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. Yes. Uh, it's just the confirmation of the passion and the attraction that I was seeing into your reading. 
Things moved so fast and I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. Okay, so they think that maybe previously uh, and things moved really fast between the two of you and they kind of like didn't know how to handle everything. Is it over? They're asking like themselves out like, is it over? Will you like, will plan number three ever respond to my, like me reaching out? Do they have hurt me? So the jealousy that they feel, they portray it uh, as you hurting them. This love is crazy. So it's like a love that feels really crazy. A love that doesn't feel super smooth a connection that feels bumpy and all over the place or like really intense this is how i'm getting like more intense with the this love is crazy i know i messed up everything so at the same time they are aware of the fact that they've messed up some things you know with their actions or their behavior i love you so they love you pal number three they they want to be with you they they want to have you for them I wish I could share my good news with you. Maybe this is uh, with the page of pentacles. Usually pages represent news, good news with the pentacles. So maybe this person like really gained some more financial like uh, income and situation where they are able to maybe start a family, be able to commit and maybe build a life together, maybe move in with them. And this is them coming to, they wish to, they could share this good news with you and um, get you to like experience this positive changes in their life as well they want to share this with you um and here they could be coming towards you and willing to like by sharing this good news and like getting you to you know accept their their another chance for them and to kind of like move with another chapter like or move towards like something more okay so this is everything that i have for you my dear pal number three i really hope you found some value and you enjoyed your reading if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye